Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial, and in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to do some folding paper type thing with your footage. Now, this is a pretty easy technique to accomplish, but there's some nice little things that you can do, such as adding a little some shadow. Um, as it comes over, you can see there's a little more shadow there and making it so the back is a different color. And I have been getting some requests for this type of effect. Now this is just one quick little fold and it's up to you to take this and turn it into a full fledged look. Um, I'm just gonna show you how to achieve this look. So let's start off with a new composition. So I just hit Command N, bring up a new composition, click OK. This is only two seconds long because it's just a quick it's just a quick look and I need to find um, just a part of the footage. Okay, right there, that's good. Now, in order to do this, I want to be able to maybe use this in the future and swap it out. So I'm going to pre-compose this footage before I do anything to it. So Command-Shift-C or Control-Shift-C. Let's call this our footage. And now whatever I do to this layer, I can always go back, click into this and move it around and everything's going to uh, work fine. So first I want to do is duplicate this footage. So I have two of them because I'm going to fold it over. And next I want to create a mark or a ruler, a guide in order to make sure I cut this right in the middle. So if you don't have rulers open already, it's command or control R will bring up the rulers. This is 720 by 1280, so the middle is 640. So I'm going to bring this over right to 640, and you can see up in, in the upper right-hand corner, it says guide position is at 640. I'll drop it there. I'm going to zoom out a little bit, select the top layer, grab my mask, and it's going to snap right to the layer. Mask off the right side and then mask off the left side. Now since it's right in the center, my anchor point is already in the center, so I don't need to move that at all. If I maybe had this at a different spot, I would need to move the anchor point. But now, all I can do is I can make these three-dimensional, and let's go in and see I can rotate these, and there's my fold. Now I want the back to be a different uh, different than the front. So I'm going to double click on this. I'm going to duplicate this layer so I'm in the composition now. I'm going to take this, the duplicated layer, I'm going to go to time, let's add a freeze frame to it, and let's also add, let's go to color correction, tint. And I want to go into the black levels and bring these right there and let's go to the white levels and bring it down so I want to be just a hint of the tree but mostly just kind of a gray let's also come in here turn these both 3d hit P and let's take the top one and go 0.1 in the Z space and that's just gonna move it just enough so it's behind this one so now when I come to rotate this you'll see it doesn't show up that's because I need to do a checkbox. So right here, right here it says Collapse Transformations. What that is, there's a little sun, and I check this, and now you can see I've got uh, the gray back to it. And what this does is basically it takes all of the settings in this composition and transfers them into this composition. So it's kind of a neat way of doing things. It gets kind of confusing because it's also the switch to turn on continuously rasterizing vector images. And so it's one button that does multiple things, so it gets a little confusing. But basically, whatever attributes I have in this composition now bring forward into this. So now it shows my 3D of those two layers properly where the one is behind the other. So next thing I want to do is I want to add kind of the shadow. Now, how I do that, there's two ways we can do that, and I'm going to do both of them here. So I'm going to add a new layer, which is a solid. 
and I'm going to go and have this width be 640 because I want it to be half as wide. Click OK. Let's go into the anchor point, make that zero, and that will push it right to where I want it to be. Let's make this 3D. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to parent this to this footage layer. So when I come into this footage layer and move it, it's going to move with it. And you'll see here in a second uh, why I'm doing that. So on this white solid, let's go to Effect, Generate, Gradient Ramp. Let's take the black, put it right there, and the white point, put it on this other side. And then let's take this layer. I'm going to hit the Toggle Switches Modes button, and I'm going to bring this to Multiply. And then what I can do is let's well let's make the animation for the page turn. So let's have it start open. And by here, let's go to 180 and it's closed. And then right here in the middle when it hits 90 degrees, I'm going to go ahead and take this top white solid I'm just going to cut it off so it it doesn't work anymore. So it doesn't it's not shown anymore. And at this point I'm going to take the opacity. Let's bring that down to 60%. Keyframe that at the beginning. Let's bring that to 0. So now as this page is turning you can see it's starting to get darker. Kind of like the light's not hitting it quite the same. Now, once it starts moving over towards this way, we want this to be casting a shadow on that back layer. And the easiest way to do that is to take this layer and let's add a layer style of a drop shadow. So I added it to this top layer, the one that's rotating over. Let's go into the drop style. Let's go into the drop shadow styles. And let's change this to 0, increase the distance and the size. And I want it to start right here. So what I'm going to do is right here where it's at 90 degrees, I'm going to keyframe the opacity. Let's bring that down to 0. About here, let's bring the opacity up. I also want to keyframe, um, I think, the size, the distance. Okay. So now as the page turns, you can see there's some shadows going on. So that's a quick and easy way to do a page turn or a fold. Now, if you get really complicated and put a lot of time in this, you can have multiple folds, uh, one folding into another, and there's lots of different techniques you can use this for. Um, the key to making this look nice is the shadows. As you can see, um, that just a little bit of gradient change actually makes this look like a fold and not just um, some weird funky movement going on. So when you do this, remember the two ways I did this. I have this white solid with a gradient ramp overlaid on top of it and it's just parented to it so it rotates in the same. That's a really good way of doing that also with the drop shadow. The drop shadow only works when you have footage on top of another footage like that. So, hope you learned something great. If you have any ideas, tips, or suggestions, just put those down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.